recently uh, on 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 the show, we had uh, Jada and uh, Jasmine up here, and Jada has some choice words to say about um, women being the most, oh well, black women being the most attacked women. That is, I'm I'm gonna play a clip, so um, you know, so the people could get familiar with, with what she said. One second. We live in a society where black women are attacked at a higher rate than any of our peers, especially by men of color. Um, and it's disturbing, and it's saddening, and it's disgusting. And the thing that really grinds my mother effing gears is I can guarantee you if that was a white woman, it wouldn't have went that route. I'm not going to say little Johnny on the spot wouldn't have tweaked out, but I doubt if he would have hit her like that. You know why? Because in his mind, that white woman came with some different protection mm -hmm. and, whether, and connections. And whether it was the protection of politicians, police, Ku Klux Klan, her family members, he would have stopped and thought about his future. He would have stopped and thought about those two black daughters that he left fatherless. He would have stopped and thought about a lot of things because he realized that that woman was protected. And it bothers me and it saddens me that black women are not protected in the same manner as other women. All right. So basically she was talking about the situation that happened in Chicago with the guy hit the girl and her son came and killed her. Yeah. So basically I want y'all to react to, to that. Listen, like, what Shaw, are you feeling? Yeah, sure. First, though, first of all, it, it's, it's been too much of a competition between black women and black men, right? You trying to give out all this tough energy, this black masculine energy, and then when something happens, you're playing victim. You're saying, where's my protector? You don't want a protector. You don't. You've been saying this for the longest, that you don't want a protector. Niggas ain't shit. Yo, niggas ain't shit. They ain't never been shit. So now all of a sudden now you're talking about you not being protected. That's because you're giving off this super tough ma masculine energy. Why I got to protect you if you this tough? If you, I could do it all by myself. Then why you need me? Why am I here? Right? So that's what niggas been saying for the longest. That's what men have been saying for the longest. And it's coming to the point where we're fed up now. We don't want to hear it anymore. Right? And when we hear all this tough talk about, you know, we don't need you and, and niggas ain't shit, don't cry for protection now all of a sudden when, 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 when you, re you recognize that you do need us. Because everything that these women have been talking about for this longest time has been a facade. They're pretending. Right? And they're acting like they don't need you, but they really do. So be quiet. I don't want to hear it. It's too much. He, mm. <laughs> he, <laughs> he should have. You have some great points. You know what I'm saying. Um, you know, unfortunately, there's no, really no hope with the sisters, and the reason why the he would have never hit a white woman because I highly doubt a white woman would talk to the black man like that. White women don't talk to men like that. If you notice how a black woman talks to a black man, she's like another black man. Yeah. The energy who, is and there. who knows what she said? Yeah. Before he yeah. hit her. Yeah. Now I'm not. I'm not saying he should never punched her. Maybe if his hand was open, could have been different. Yeah. Him punching her, I don't. I, that's not necessarily called for. A lot of people are upset that Tina Turner passed away. Yeah. I'm more upset that her husband passed away, Ike Turner, <laughs> because he was a guy. He was a disciplinary. You know what I'm saying? And it was law and order, and I respected him for that. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, listen, look how the women act. They get out of control. Yeah. They, 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 there's no order. Like, like, I, like they, they're having kids. They want you to like raise their kids. Like, where's the father at? Yeah, yeah. That's like, that, that's like a badge of honor because you have a kid. Okay, so what? Yeah. Okay, I got denied for five jobs. I don't care about your kid. Yo. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. I agree. I agree hundred percent in the sense of. You're giving out masculine energy, and I'm going to meet masculine energy with masculine energy, right? So I, I'm pretty sure if she was a she was whispering or talked to him in a, fe in a feminine way, she wouldn't have gotten that reaction. And I'm not defending domestic violence in any way, shape, or form. And I mean, I'm not defend defending violence in any way, shape, or form. But listen, what you get is what you, what you give out is what you get a, a, a majority of the time. You know what I'm saying? And you can't expect to come at men who are built different, stronger physically with this mouth all the time. And that's a problem with the sisters. I think it's always been this mouth that they use to, to, to trap us 
and this mouth that they use to put us down all this time, and then now this mouth is turning on them, and now they're playing the victim. They got to wash their mouths. Like, they really have, their, their mouths have been a venom in our relationships for decades, for centuries now, right? Because every time you go home, you don't want to hear that mouth. You don't want to hear that nagging. You don't want to hear all this noise. And they use that as a weapon against us. And all of a sudden now, we've been trying to, you know, you know we've been trying to back away from the situation and and, and and try to play, you know, the 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 balanced kind of role. But they're not hearing that. They're now running with it. Now, if you if you if you try to take advantage of that or try to, uh, um, uh, uh, in a sense, retaliate against them, then you become you become the bad guy, right? You become anything you say against a sister, you become the bad guy. <laughs> They're just supposed to go, yep, 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 all hundred percent, and you're not supposed to say anything. I'm tired of it, man. And, and I think men in general, black men in general, are tired of it. They're tired of, of the sisters and their mouths, and their mouths is what's getting them in, in all this problem. And they need to they put a need to put a lid on it. So, for real. so, so women aren't supposed to voice their opinions and 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 speak how they feel. Absolutely. You can voice your opinion. Everybody, yo, uh, opinions are like assholes, right? Everybody got one, right? But it's how you do it, right? What have whatever happened to feminine energy for the black woman? Where did that go? Everybody's outside. Everybody's acting bad. That's not feminine energy, right? And you're going to meet a man with masculine energy. You're going to get that back in return. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening across the board. All these women are super tough. They're outside being God knows what. And when, when they meet someone that meets the same energy back with them, they play victim. It's, it's, it's like, do they really think on their own now? You know what I'm saying? I feel like something else is controlling their mind. Like, they feel like they need to be combative against somebody that they're supposed to build a life with. Yeah. Like, they don't know how to talk to you. So it, 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 that's where the communication gets lost. Like, how could I communicate with my significant other and she's talking to me like I'm somebody in the street. Yeah, it's a competition. She's running a competition on who's supposed to lead the family, who's supposed to be the person in charge, and who's bring it, who's the, the the breadwinner, right? And they're looking at it like once you give them an opportunity to start making any little kind of bread, having any kind of leeway, they take it and it becomes a competition. It's no longer a relationship. It's a situation where she's trying to see how much she can outdo me. And, and I'm still playing my traditional role. She still wants the, per, the perks of a traditional role, but she wants to be the head of household and she wants to run and, and, and control everything. And, and that's, that's what the, the relationships are failing because they're no longer a symbiotic relationship where we're both working together. It's her trying to show how much she can be in charge. And it's almost like, you know, it's a competition. And, and that's where we're failing at because we're not working together. We're definitely not working together. We don't, we don't work together on regular situations. So why would we ever work together? Together in a relationship <laughs> how could that ever happen yeah the sisters need inner peace yeah. they're not peaceful inside something and is bothering me. i don't know what it is i don't know if the waist train is too tight <laughs> it's probably i don't that. know if her hair her, her hairstylist is not here this weekend i don't know if she has her dots it, you know what it is i think it's all of those things combined all those insecurities are coming out all at the same time it's a massive pile of insecurities that are coming out in the sisters. And for years and years, they haven't, they don't know who they are anymore, right? They don't have no identity anymore, right? They're all trying to be, like, they're trying to be the Kardashians. They're trying to be out there in the world. They're trying to be some, everybody's trying to be a model and try to be out there and live this, 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 this fictitious life. And they forgot about the realities of what's involved in raising families and in, in being in relationships and being wives and being women in general. They're living in the fantasy world. It's all a fantasy world for them. Nothing is real anymore. So, right? You know, you know what, why you might say that? Because you remember the whole Barbie shit? Yeah. Like that's what they're living in. They're living in the bar. Some, some women are living in the bar. Bro, world. I saw a meme today that whenever women get upset, or they get, they start bugging out. You shouldn't you, you shouldn't you shouldn't trip because they used to talk to dolls and feed them real food. Like they used to talk to dolls back in the day in <laughs> fake houses and fake cars and feed them real food. They're crazy, especially the sisters, right? Because now they're getting a little leeway. They'll tell you that they're the most educated group and all this stuff. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. But on the end of, at, the, at the end of the day, they still don't know how to be themselves. They're trying to emulate everybody else, and they're misconstruing it all. It's all mixed up now. So, like, you can't take them serious because nothing they're saying is real. I'm not like like I said. They they are the most educated women. We give you that, but how come that education never transfers over to the relationship? Because you can't teach common sense, my man. Men are very simple. We're simple beings. 
right? We work on logic. We work on this is what makes sense for the family and for the group overall. And women are living in a fantasy world. They all look at Instagram. They all look at uh, 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 these 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 models, and they think that's what life is supposed to be. And they they're not. I, you know what I, I've, I've always said? They don't want to deal with the process and relationships. And being in in, in in developing things take process over the period of time. And these women nowadays, they just want instant gratification. They're just a microwave society of black women that they want. They want the Bentley and they want the house and they want the the six six nigga that that got the big dick with the with the, <laughs> the, the five the, the twenty million dollar back row. And they don't want to do nothing for it. They just want to exist for it. And shit don't work like that in the real world. And, and everybody they look up to, all their celebrity couple idols. All of them that they look up to, those couples don't last either. Yeah, yeah, facts. So now what? Yeah. You don't want the nine to five guy. You want this, I'm not going to say scam, you want a person that's well off, yeah. as you should. But when those relationships don't work, you have to ask yourself, how come that didn't work yeah. out? Is it him? I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I can't necessarily say it's that guy. Yeah. Is it yourself? Yeah. Look at, your, look at yourself in the mirror. We was having a conversation earlier about, I think, for, for, for years now, especially with, you know, with the decades of mass incarceration and brothers coming home, men have been working on themselves. They're kinda, we're kind of seeing what the system has been using against black men for a long time, and we've kind of been figuring that out and, you know, staying away from that over uh, as, as time progressed. But we never really looked into what the system has been doing for sisters. They've been manipulating them, and they haven't been noticing that. Right, the 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 BBLs, the 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 ratchetness, the looseness. It's all a, a scheme to have them blind about what their position are. They don't recognize that they're losing what their position are. And they've been they've been pillars in relationships, you know, uh, uh, for years. Uh, uh, Martin Luther King had Loretta Scott, and and, and they don't want to be that anymore because they've been blinded, right? And black men have been working on themselves. We've literally been working on ourselves. When people saw Kevin Samuels and he, he was talking to us, he, he was talking to everybody about working on themselves. Sisters are not looking internally on what they are missing, right? They're not working on themselves at all. And because they haven't been working on themselves, they've become so toxic. And it's always somebody else's fault. They're pointing the finger at, at the black man and they're pointing fingers at everybody else. And they're not taking any kind of self-accountability about what role they're playing in the devastation of what's going on in our relationships. The the Besides black women, like black men, you know, we have to be self-aware of ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I'd be like, yo, when I get into a deep thought, I'm like, you know what? Maybe... We went wrong somewhere. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to give these Lord, these, these women the benefit of the doubt. Like yeah. maybe, what do we do for them to act like that? Like, and it seems like they don't want to be under no umbrella. They yeah. don't want to be under no organization. And I'm not trying to make it seem like they they employees, but it's like they don't want to be on the same page. They don't want to yeah. be on the same team. Basically. They don't want yeah, exactly because they're competing. There is no structure. Like they, we used to have structure. We used to have a head of household. We used to have, used to hear, behind every strong black man is a black woman. Nah, they don't want to do that no more. They, it, or now it's bes we used to say, okay, beside every black man is a strong black woman. Now they don't want to do that. They want to be in front. They want to have all the limelight. They want to take all the credit. And all of a sudden, niggas ain't shit. And if we ain't shit, then we fall into the back. But don't be saying niggas ain't shit. And then when shit happens, you're looking for a protector and a provider. You cannot want to be an untraditional woman wanting traditional perks and benefits. It don't work like that, right? Either you're going to get with the program or you're going to be by yourself. And, and that's what's happening. A lot of them are by themselves and they're becoming more bitter and they're becoming more negative and they're wondering why they're not getting anything reciprocal because nobody wants to deal with that. Nobody wants to deal with your mouth. Nobody wants to deal with your attitude. Nobody wants to deal with none of that, right? We still get in our money. We're still doing everything else. And the thing about the black man is the black man is fantasized throughout all races and religions and right? all creeds. So all different kinds of women still want the black man. The only man that wants the black woman it's the black man, and they she shitting on us. So what are they gonna do when when we not here? <laughs> so you, 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 like, that's you a, really, that's a yo, honestly, <laughs> bro. The that. only person that wants the black woman is the black man. The white boys ain't dealing with all that noise. They're not dealing with all that mouth. We the only ones that do that, right? And when we not here, they are gonna be alone. I'm telling you. 